Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to Self Made. I'm Colt Joseph, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Sam Bankman Freed and the FTX disaster. So good old Sam Bankman Freed somehow was able to post a $250 million bail, even though he claims he only has $100,000 left. That don't add up. FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed to be released on a $250 million bail will live with his parents. That is crazy. FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed will be released for on a $250 million bail a federal judge ruled while he awaits trial for eight federal criminal charges related to alleged fraud at his collapsed crypto empire. Bankman Freed was extradited from the Bahamas to Winchester County in New York on Wednesday night after days of chaotic court hearings. Two of his top executives, Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang, pleaded guilty Wednesday to various criminal charges related to fraud at FTX and are cooperating with the federal government. That is not good for good old Sam Bankman Freed, even though Sam Bankman Freed has been doing interviews and on the internet in general, just literally spitting out incriminating evidence almost daily up until these uh, hearings started and when he got uh, arrested in the Bahamas. The 30-year-old will face his next hearing presided over by Judge Ronnie Abrams in New York City on January 3rd, where he'll enter his plea and be arraigned. Look at his little face right there, his smug little face. <laughs> In addition to the $250 million package, which prosecutors called the largest ever pretrial bond, the former crypto billionaire would also be required to wear an electronic monitoring bracelet, submit a mental health counseling, and restrict himself to travel within the, between the Northern District of California and the Southern and Eastern Districts of New York. What? Damn. So he can still go up. He can, he's pretty much almost that dude. What? That's crazy that he only has to restrict himself to the travel within and between the Northern District of California on one side of the United States and the Southern and Eastern Districts of New York. Bagman Freed was the heart of a fraud of epic proportions. Assistant U.S. Attorney Nicholas Rue, Ruse told the court, but he voluntarily returned to the United States. He has no history of flight and has significantly reduced financial assets, Roos said. Bankman Freed had previously claimed that he was down to a mere 100,000, a steep fall from grace for a man who was once at the head of a $32 billion crypto empire. And he claims he's down to $100,000, but still somehow came up with $250 million for the bail. Now, was it his parents? Was it somebody else said FTX? Somebody else's uh, partners of him? Who knows? Let's, hopefully we will find out one day soon. Bankman Freed stands accused of perpetrating a multi-billion dollar fraud on his investors using customer funds to purchase properties, fund political donations, and backstop trades at his hedge fund, Alameda Research. Federal regulators allege over $8 billion in customer funds is missing. $8 billion is missing. <laughs> That's nuts. FTX filed for bankruptcy protection in Delaware on November 11th. Bankman Freed's successor, CEO John Ray, said he's never seen such a complete failure of corporate control. Joe Biden received $5.2 million in campaign donations from Sam Bankman Freed. Every single penny must be returned. Now, what do you guys think about this? Do you think the President of the United States should return that $5.2 million that was donated to him? Let me know down in the comments. Sam Bankman Freed's family called Bahamas prison to request vegan meals for him to eat. What the fuck, dude? He's getting special treatment because he's a billionaire or was a billionaire. He's not anymore. He probably still is a billionaire. I bet you money he has money stashed away from that stolen money. Sam Bankman Freed said he had 100K in a bank account. Out of that, today he paid $250 million bail. Simple math. Do the math on that one. That makes no, no fucking sense at all. There's something going on here. That's probably some of that stolen money I was talking about. You know this, you know this motherfucker ain't broke. Sam Bankman Freed, he's definitely got some money stashed away somewhere. You know, the Wall Street Journal has a good point right here. For months, Gary Gensler claimed to have authority over crypto and warned about self-dealing at their exchanges. Why didn't he investigate FTX? That's a good point, Mr. Gary Gensler. Why did you not investigate Sam Bankman Freed and FTX? Now, I don't know if this is actually real or not. Sam Bankman Freed at JFK Airport last night in a business class lounge, just sitting there on his laptop chilling. This could totally not be real. I'm not 100% sure, but if it is, this is ridiculous. Look, Sam Bankman Freed en route to his parents' house. You've said now that you've lost your billions and that you're down to your, I think you said my last 100K in one bank yep. account. Is that true? I don't. That math isn't looking great on like a year long, six month long time scale, but. But you're from a wealthy family. You're going to be okay, right? Uh, in what respect? They'll, you're not going to be on the street or anything like that, are you? I mean, I don't know. Like legal fees can get quite expensive. Do you have any Bitcoin wallets personally that, that you, you know, that you might have hodled over the years? I'm not hiding any assets here. Anything I have, I've disclosed to people, and uh, uh, I don't even have access. 
to most of my own personal data right now. So this is just my personal opinion, but I guarantee you he is definitely hiding some assets because how did he pay that $250 million? Tell me get some answers, we'll never know. But uh, will he end up on the street? I don't know. I think he's more likely to end up in a prison cell than anything, but we'll still see if that is even to happen. Now, how many years is Sam Beckman freed actually facing if he was to get charged with the full penalty of his crimes? Someone with your background reading through these charges and the indictment, what stands out to you most? Well, what stands out most is that many of the charges are conspiracies. You can have a conspiracy with yourself. You have a conspiracy of at least two people. And what I suspect is going to happen is there will be what we call a superseding indictment, where there will be other defendants charged uh, who conspired uh, with the main defendant here, and there'll be additional charges. But the fact that there are numerous conspiracies uh, leads me to believe that this investigation is far from being over. What about the timing here? Does it what what do you make of the fact that he was arrested the night before he was supposed to testify before the House Financial Services Committee? Yeah, I'm not uh, that doesn't bother me at all. It could be that the timing was and I'm speculating, totally speculating. There was some discussion, perhaps, that he was um, secreting money around the world in different countries, uh, that he was going to skip to another country that didn't have a strong extradition treaty with the United States and the government moved in as quickly as possible to prevent that from happening. That's pure speculation, I don't know, uh, but it's not the first time that the government yeah. has moved quickly when uh, those, uh, uh, when that evidence is out there and they're concerned about uh, what the defendant is gonna do. So you expect more, more indictments here to come, more co-conspirators here. I mean, he, he's, he's now being accused of Conspiracy to commit wire fraud, cut on customers and lenders, money laundering, violations of campaign finance laws. There are eight criminal charges here. What is he looking at if convicted? Uh, we won't be around if he gets the maximum. Let me put it that way. And you're much younger than I am. It is not likely uh, that defendants get the maximum sentence. But the mail fraud, the wire fraud, the conspiracies, uh, the maximum is 20 years. And judges, of course, in sentencing are going to factor a lot of things in, none of which we know about at this time. But he's facing many, many, many years in prison. Bankman Freed faces up to 115 years in prison if convicted on the FTX fraud charges. That is insane. 115 years. That man will die in prison if he is charged. Even if he doesn't get the maximum, he's still going to be doing life in prison. Life is over 25 years. So most likely Sam Bankman Freed is going to get life in prison for this, which is crazy. But, I mean, he's probably deserving of it with, with everything that happened. But uh, that's just, that's nuts, you know? This FTX thing has really, really been a nightmare for crypto in general. It is definitely bringing regulations in hard. Regulations are going to, are being sped up by this whole FTX crash. For sure, for sure, okay? It's bringing a huge spotlight on crypto and not a good spotlight either. Um, having regulations in place is definitely a good thing and we need that to happen for enterprises to start moving into blockchain and to cryptocurrencies. But... Wish it didn't happen this way. You know what I mean? So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all of this craziness going around with the FTX whole uh, disaster and um, them going bankrupt. Let me know down in the comments if this affected you in any way, shape, or form. Let me know if you guys had any money sitting in FTX when all this happened, if you lost anything. What do you think about Sam bankman Free? Do you think he deserves the amount of time he might be getting or not? Subscribe to not miss any of my future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Cole Joseph. Peace.